It's me, Uncle Bubba. This is take three. So maybe this is a good one. We don't know. A little short, quick, uh, what's old video here. Uh, these three little items are the, ones, are the ones that went out between yesterday and today. I believe today's the 28th. Not too sure, to be honest with you. So I got called in to work early on my regular 9 to 5 job for a snow. I guess here we go. Uh, first item up here is this right here, the Sarnus. What are they? Speaker mounts for surround sounds. I picked these up at the 100 mile yard sale out in Lynchburg, Virginia in Route 29. So I met up with my buddy Chris, Patriot Picker. And that's where I got a chance to meet Kevin, the worldwide well-known well Commonwealth Picker. Had a good time out there. Um, I picked up a whole, I think I grabbed two bags, two of the big Ikea bags off this one guy. He bought out a radio shack and he had a whole bunch of stuff new in the box. I put up two bags for $25 and that item was in there. And it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Uh, next item up. Hey Arnold. Complete season. The complete series of Hey Arnold. All 99 episodes. There are 16 CDs in there. It is pre-owned. Picked up for $0.99 cent at a local Goodwill. Sold for $19.99. And now the big mama jama. The big boy. The big lady. Whatever you want to call her. Vintage. 1985. Barbie ice cream shop. All complete. In the original box. The only things this thing did not come with, with. Were the dolls. Came with everything else. It literally took me. I don't know. 10 to 20 minutes. Just to set all these silly little pieces up. Enough to get the pictures. But I believe it turned out pretty well. I was happy to get it. It actually sold for a little bit less than I was hoping it would. So for $26.50, it's going out to New Mexico. Um, I bought it. It's been a while ago. It was $6.99. Yeah, $6.99 out of Goodwill. Um, I couldn't really pass it up. It was just a Barbie shop without the box. I wouldn't even thought twice about it but with the box. Um, I guess twenty six fifty is not too bad to turn around. I had it for a little bit higher price. They came with an offer. I was tired of looking at it. So I said, you got to go down the road, Barbie. I also got my wife to watch the second video I put out. She didn't watch the first, which I don't blame her. And if nobody watched the first video, I don't blame you either. But I asked her, I said, so now... What did you think? She said, oh, it was good. I liked it. I said, did you like it and subscribe? She said, I liked it. She said, I didn't subscribe. I said, why didn't you subscribe? She said, you're not quite good enough for me to subscribe yet. Keep working. So that's something to look forward to. I got to get better in order for my wife to subscribe to the channel. That's all right. I love her. She loves me. She puts up with all my crazy ideas, my crazy little schemes I come up with. She's very supportive. I love her. She's awesome. So, I think I'm going to add a few things to this video. I've been out Goodwill shopping. I've only been in one Goodwill. And I hit it every day when I come home because it's on my way home from work. And I've been pulling some pretty exciting things out of there. Um, went to my auction last Saturday. Um, it's got a few nice things out of there. I'll show those on the next video as well. Pretty excited about them. There's a couple things in there I grabbed just because I thought they were neat. Uh, they're comping out pretty well. I don't know how long they're going to sit, so I'm going to let you take a look at those. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye now. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's me, Uncle Bubba, DJ. Uh, just want to go over a few things uh, that I sold today, which is one item, uh, and then we're going to go over... Uh, a few things that I picked up at a local auction house. I would go to every Saturday night. <clears throat> the um, guy is actually not really going out of business. He's just moving locations. So he had a huge sale. It went on for quite a while. 
uh, last Saturday night. He had to sell everything in the place, tables, his chairs, everything he had on his wall. The place he's moving to, he's not allowed to bring anything with him or paint anything up on the wall. Uh, this guy was in the same building for 13 years. That's a long time for a uh, auctioneer to be in one place. So, first thing that sold today, first and only thing that sold today, was this Xfinity voice remote. Uh, bought it for 99 cent at the local Goodwill and sold it for $17.99 plus shipping. As you can tell, it's brand new, still in the package, never been set up on the TV. So, that wasn't a bad flip at all. Okay, well, that's it for the What Sold video. Thanks, see you later. Now, um, now it's going to go over a few things that I picked up at the auction. First off, I'm sure you can see from the bottom was the great and powerful Roseanne quilt. Paid $3 for this at the auction. We put it in the washer. Now it smells downy fresh. It's beautiful. The colors are bright, vibrant, just absolutely awesome. That over there. Also picked up this other nice bright, I guess it's like a baby's quilt. Something, Phil. Not a big deal. This is like a baby's quilt. Also paid three dollars for this one. This one's very heavy, very thick. The wife may be stealing this tonight. To keep. Also picked up three 1980s Star Wars figures. There they are, right there. They're Kenner. Don't have their weapons, but. Pay three dollars for all three of these. They're actually in a in a, uh, in a planner, so I had to buy the planner, all the stickers, everything that came with it. I didn't mind because I knew these three guys were hiding inside of the planner. Also picked up a stack of ten different. I I thought these were actually Red Cross patches, but what they are, what I believe they are, when you graduate a class. They give you these little plaques to hang up on your wall. And each one is different. I think I have one double. But they're actually by the Bastine Brothers. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't think you can. You have the Bastine Brothers printing. That was one of them. Here's another one. Look. I'm not going to show you all of them. It'll take way too long. Here's just your regular Red Cross. Badges. Let's see if I can find a cool one here real quick. There. Water safety instructor. And there's one in here that I think somebody is going to love. Whoever got this donated 10 gallons of blood. That's absolutely amazing. They're all in very good shape. I don't know what they are. If anybody out there has an idea. If they've ever seen them before, I picked up all 10 of them for $7. So I don't think it's going to be too bad. I figure probably $20 a piece plus shipping or $20. I don't know. If you got any ideas, let me know. Comment below. And the last thing I picked up, not the last thing, but one of the last things I picked up, the guy always had this sitting up on the shelf, and I had to get it so I can put it on my shelf. It's definitely not resellable. It's pretty rough. That split has a split in the in the cover. But here's a quick little bolo for you. I looked them up. If you find the good, bad, and ugly with the red record, pick it up. They're popping out for like sixty to seventy dollars just for the record alone with a decent cover. The cover doesn't have to be good as long as it's a decent cover. They're popping out very well. Okay. Now, these next three items, I paid $3 a piece for them. Um, I don't know if they work or not. I just plugged them in just now. Uh, I know one of them works. The other clock works in one of them. But let me show you what they are before we get too far into them. Okay, here's the first item right here. It's the old Sears and Roebuck. What's it say on there again? I just had it. Silvertone. AM clock radio. 
it's an alarm clock. Here's a snooze button. I just plug this one in and the clock works. I heard a humming. It's only an AM radio. I'm downstairs in my basement, so I don't know if it would pick up anything or not. It's pretty dirty. Now, it's actually in really nice condition, besides being dirty. Um, I'll probably just wind up listing this just as a, I don't know, movie prop, TV prop, collectors. I've actually comped this one out, and it's going for right about $40 because of this color. They came in four different colors, and this is the least desirable color. But I'll take it for $3. Here's the next one. Vintage GE Pink AM radio. There again, it's absolutely filthy just from sitting up on this shelf as a display item. There again, pay $3 for it. Because this one's pink, these are comping out in working condition. I don't know if this one's working or not. I was kind of afraid to plug it in because how bad the back is. But these are comping out right about $40 to $60 a piece for these as well because it's pink. If this was black or brown, you'd probably be looking about $20 for it. There again, $3. I may list it just as a, uh, another movie prop, TV prop, or just for a collector to have just on display. And I'm sorry, I miscounted. I picked up four radios. This one is a vintage Admiral. This is actually a portable radio. There's actually a slot for your records in the back, so I'm not going to pull those out. I'm going to clean this one up, polish it up a little bit, post this just as a movie prop. One slight dent right here. I um, guess you can really tell here on the video. So It really doesn't detour from it. I think, you, I think it will still display well. The neat thing is that's your antenna for your radio. Once again, this is just an AM radio as well. Kind of like the Star Trek emblem sitting down there too. That's pretty cool. And last but not least, the big boy. Your vintage Zenith. AM, FM. High fidelity. I plug this one in and it works. I don't know how to turn the channels, but I turned it on. Heard some static. Then heard voices. And I know it's not haunted because I recognize the song. And it's actually a wood casing on it. Little, got a scratch there. A few, a couple little cracks in the face of it. But I think it will still display. Absolutely awesome. Get it cleaned up. A little bit of wood polish on it. A little spit shine. There again. Great for a collector. Beginning collector. <laughs> or being a great movie prop. I think this was in Back to the Future, wasn't it? It was sitting up on Doc Brown's shelf. That sounds good. But not being FM. Well, that about does it for the auction. Like I said, I didn't get too much. Um, a lot of collectors were there. There wasn't too many deals really to be to be made. Um, stuff was, was going for good prices. Just not good enough for uh, to be reselling. So next, we're going to go over a few, probably more than a few, items that I was able to pull out of my local Goodwill, the one that I stop in every day on the way home from work. Why? Because it's there. It's on the way home. Spend a nice 45 minutes to an hour inside there walking around once in a while they bring some carts out and dig through those. And um, I've actually pulled some clothes out. I'm not a clothes seller. I don't, I can't say I don't like selling clothes. I don't like selling selling clothes unless they grab my eye and I can tell they're older. Um, so we'll go over those and y'all can tell me what you think about them. All right, so as I was saying, I'm not much of a, a clothes seller, a shoe seller, unless I see, see something that grabs my eye, sparks my attention, um, unless I can tell it's vintage, you know, for the single, um, single stitch. Um, you know certain things that you learn on on YouTube watching people and what they sell and um, you kind of go from there and get a rough idea and of course you comp it out and see if anything's close to it uh, so the first thing we're going to look at is a pair of shoes with a pair of Dansko clogs very clean I don't think these have ever been 
worn. If they had been, might have been only once or twice. And the soles are still practically brand new. Um, comp, comp this style out. These should sell right about $35, maybe even $40 for them. They're size 36. I don't know. I don't know what that works out to being for you ladies' feet. So it's probably what about a seven and a half, eight, maybe. I don't know. But uh, and of course, when you see them, you got to grab them. Doc Martens with the airwear on the back. Nice clear soles with the air soles. These are brown. Definitely got a little bit of wear to them on the front. So probably want to wind up listing these as distressed. I mean, I could probably go through and get some shoe or some mink oil on them and bring them back. But I think they look pretty good. Kind of with that distressed look to them. I don't even know what size these were. I don't remember. Um, I don't know. Probably sevens, eights, somewhere around there. No, I'm pretty sure these aren't the original laces. If they were, um, I don't recognize them because I am a Doc Martens fan. I've got five pair of Doc Martens myself. I wish these were in my size because I would definitely keep them for myself. Oh, these should comp out. Doc Martens are crazy. Uh, these aren't the, these aren't made in in England. These are actually made in Vietnam, so they're not going to be the the higher price ones. So I'm still thinking. 50 maybe $70, I don't know. I'll have to do a little more research, but it's a whole lot better than $649. Those dance goes also paid $649 for them. That's the price that uh, shoes go for in our local Goodwill. Okay, now on to the clothes. Saw it, had to get it. A throwback, Larry Bird, Celtics jersey. Is a double XL. It's a hardwood classics. Pretty desirable brand. It's an Adidas. Uh, it's very clean. Um, yeah, that's about all I got to say about that. Sorry, a little bit of Forrest Gump sound. Should sell right about thirty to thirty-five dollars for this. This here it is right here. I'm gonna lie to everybody. Nine ninety-nine. So not too bad for ten dollars flipping it into forty. Next up, another one that you have to grab when you see them, as long as they're nice and bright colors. Your Tommy Bahama shirt, button down. The original fit, one hundred percent cotton Tommy Bahama. Everybody knows about the Tommy Bahamas. I grab it because it has nice hibiscus flowers on it, the ferns. Nice Hawaiian style to it. And it's clean, no stains. Grabbed a jacket. I should grab two jackets. Here's number one. All Star. This is made by Freeman Brothers. This is actually pays homage to the Negro League baseball. It has all their patches on down the sleeves. Pay $9.99 for this as well. There's nothing on the back, but it's very clean. No stains. I don't know if it's ever been worn. I think there's a few little small little scuff marks on the sleeves prior from being on the shelf. I'll go through and clean it up really well. This is actually comping out for $60 for this exact jacket on the Ebays. So not too bad. I think I paid $9.99 for this as well. And for our last jacket, paying $9.99 for this one as well. I think that's the good one price for jackets at our Goodwill here lately. 1980s Buffalo Bills suede bomber jacket. Wow, how did my color go? Wow, hmm. my camera got jaundice all of a sudden. How about that? That's really odd. Oh well, we'll have to work with it. This is actually a Swisher. I don't know if it's going to be able to show up on here or not. Compliments of Corning fiber fiberglass. So it's, it's insulated in absolutely excellent condition. No stains at all on the sleeves, no stains on the neck. And it is plain on the back. 
but this exact jacket comping out on eBay, $65. So, as always, we all know, watch out for vintage jackets. Okay. Wow, I'm back in color. Isn't that amazing? Must have been something with the green or the blue that threw the camera off. So, I apologize for that. I don't think I'm going to be able to edit that out. You'll just have to um, pretend you didn't see it. I almost forgot this one piece of clothing. I don't know how I could forget it. It's absolutely huge, but I couldn't turn it down. There it is. Huh? How about that? A vintage one piece. I don't say it's late 80s, early 90s. Snugglers. That's it, snugglers. Yeah, snugglers. Size 14, one piece snowsuit. Nice bright colors. No rips, tears, stains, anything in it. Might have a couple stains around the collar. I think I can work on those a little bit. Even has the little go go belt with it. Let me look around. Yeah, that's it for the clothes. Uh, thank goodness for that. Uh, now we're going to go over a few things that I found at the Goodwill. Uh, a few things I normally don't pick up because I don't have kids. Um, I do have kids, but they're no longer kids. Um, they're 20, 20 years old and 18 years old. Uh, so, first thing up is a Series 1 Monster High doll. I don't know what her name is. Freaky, 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 I don't know. Freaky Stein. I think that's what her name is. Uh, she was $2.99 at the Goodwill. And, you know, these are comping out halfway decent, $15, $20. Could be more. I don't know. Um, of course, I comped her out real quick. Got the measurements on her. She is the first series 2008 Monster High doll. Uh, she's actually pretty clean for as messed up as she looks. You know, no markers or coloring on her. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what she does. Next up. Like I said, I don't have kids, but I know Kevin, he sells these quite often. PJ Maxx, a little car. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about this cartoon. It is way past my girls watching TV, watching cartoons. But this is brand new, in package, and it was surprising, really, how much these are going for. Um, anywhere from 35 being brand new, I saw a couple actually selling for close to $100. I couldn't believe it, but it was on there. Now, most of those were free shipping, so you're probably still looking right about the, I don't know, $35, $40 plus shipping. Shipping's not going to be much on this thing, but I had to get it just because it was brand new in box. And it's PJ Masks. Masks. Next up for kids. Brand new inbox, Spirit. Um, now I have three nieces. My one niece absolutely loves Spirit. That's the only reason I knew about it. We got a bunch of her Spirit stuff for Christmas. Uh, so plus it's brand new in the box. Uh, I don't know what this little piece is. Fold it back down inside. These are actually selling for about $25, and I paid $2.99 for this. Um, $2.99 for the PJ mask, and $2.99 also for the Monster High doll. Uh, this was 99 cent, this piece right here. It's a brush kit for your for your Neato, one of the robot vacuums. Well, I guess a brush uh, replacement kit for it. This was 99 cent, and these are actually coming out for 40 to $70 for these little pieces here. So keep an, keep an eye out. Anything that's Neato, of course, for your iRobot, uh, Roomba, any type of replacement pieces for those. They're new in boxes. Pick them up. People will strap them up. Because everybody's gotten lazy. They don't want to push a vacuum. They want to push a button and let the vacuum do everything. Just push the vacuum. I got my wife a vacuum for Christmas one year and had it engraved to her and she didn't like it. I don't know why. Anyway. Brand new in box. How much did I pay for this? $6.99. $6.99. For Paw Patrol. And it still has Chase on it, so it's older because I know that they are supposed to be discontinuing Chase. This toy 
brand new, in the box, copping out. If I remember right, this was like $50 to $60, just because it has Chase on it. The only reason I know his name is Chase, because I looked it up. And it makes sense. He's a police dog. What do they do? They chase. So, that's it for Chase. And this last piece is my personal favorite. I may wind up keeping them, putting them on my basement bar. I may wind up showing everybody one day. I'm not too sure. But isn't that a cool looking nutcracker? Made in Germany. And this is the one I showed on my uh, Instagram page. If you're not a like on Instagram, check it out. Uncle Bubba 2020 over on Instagram. I post uh, stuff I find, what they sold for. Other things, sometimes I'll post pictures of bourbon I pick up. Sometimes I'll post pictures of barbecue that I cooked. Um, because I was, at one time, into competition barbecue, catering barbecue. Um, so if you have questions about barbecue, I can probably help you out with that. And he is a nutcracker. And I try to say, I don't know how he was supposed to, because he doesn't have a lever to crack the nuts. He actually comes apart. And you put your walnut or whatever you put in there. Shove it back up inside. And you spin his little feet in the shell. I guess he... We can imagine where it comes out. So, yeah, I actually paid up for him. Paid twelve ninety nine for him. It's made in Germany. It's a Steinbeck. I'm sure it's pronounced differently in German but these are definitely a, keep your eye out bolo however you want to say it he is comping out without the box for 60 bucks plus shipping without the box with the box he's probably about 70 to 80 dollars for him so and if you see on his little mug right there it says low and brown so you can cross promote this possibly as a nutcracker and for beer collectors, to the St. Louis and Brown. So, that's about it for my finds at my local Goodwill. A few of my what solds. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, just hit the like button for me, please, and hit the subscribe button. I'm going to try to do a video at least once a week. Um, trying to figure out what days work best for me. Is it going to be on a Sunday? Or a Wednesday, I'm not too sure yet, but I'm gonna to try to put out one one a week. Um, there may be shorter ones, might be longer ones. I know it's probably gonna be one up being one of the longer ones that I do, um, just because I have a lot of stuff I wanted to show everybody. And uh, you know, good luck out there picking, good luck selling, and uh, thank you so much. Bye now. <laughs>